All right, today is a really important tip. If you have a training business, please pay close attention. A lot of coaches out there, and we look at this very closely, but what they do is they'll go to Instagram, and whenever they have an update for all of their clients or their prospects, they'll just go post a story. And they'll post something like, all right, we don't have practice tonight. It's it's canceled, but we're going to move it to tomorrow. And then they don't communicate it to their actual clients, and they just expect their clients to check Instagram to see whatever update that is. Now, here's why this is a really big problem. The vast majority of people that are on Instagram are just distracted. They're just zombies. They're looking at one thing and then they just skip to the next and no one really pays attention. So if you're going to communicate to your clients, it needs to be done different. You either need to have your own community where only they see the updates and they get an email or they get a text, they get something that triggers them to go look at it. So this way you have a way to streamline communication, but you should never just go to, to Instagram or social media to try to post updates there because not everyone will see it. And the reason why everyone won't see it is because social media, what they do now is they penalize you unless you pay for ads, right? So if you're not paying for ads, you can't guarantee that everyone's gonna see it, right? Plus not everyone's gonna be on their phone that day looking at your update. So that goes along the lines with trying to update your clients and the same thing with marketing. If you don't have an email list, you are really missing out, right? You want to have an email list of clients. You want to have an email list of prospects and you want to email them frequently, right? I promise you, and we've done the stats on this coaches that have an email list that send probably two to three emails per week, and they are actually like aggressively marketing their business. Coaches who do that are going to do way better than if they're just posting on Instagram and that's all they do, right? And the reason why is when you have someone's email, you own their data. Instagram or Facebook, you cannot guarantee that they're going to see it every single time you post because they're going to be looking at other stuff too. So you want to try, hopefully, to transition your marketing over to an email list, all right? Now, when you have that, like I said, you own the data and you can make sure that people are getting that message. Now, is everyone gonna read your email every time you send it? No, but you can probably get anywhere between like 40 to 60% open rate on every single email you send. So if you have a couple hundred people on your list, you can guarantee that you know 50 to 100 or 150 people every single day you send an email are going to read what you're talking about. And the odds of you like selling out camp, selling out clinics, selling out promotions through an email list, in my opinion, are way higher than just posting something to social media. All right. That's it for today. If you have questions about communication with your clients, how to streamline things, I'm going to have a couple of videos on here. It's going to show you a tool that I recommend to create your own community so you can simplify and you can streamline all of your communication between yourself and all of your clients. All right. So subscribe to our channel if you want to see that video. I haven't posted it yet, but it's something I plan on posting in the next week or so. All right. That's it. I'll see you later.